What is up, UJ fans? It's your boy Clicky, joined by the one and only Muskrat player, coming at you with some UJ Overwatch action. How you doing tonight, Mr. Musk? I am doing absolutely fantastic. I got a 22-hour road trip ahead of me tomorrow, so oh. I, am, I am not so excited for that. Oh, no. <laughs> we're we're going to enjoy this while we can, then. Jeez. Oh, yeah. But, I'll try. Oh, <laughs> But uh, I, I guess we'll we'll focus on the bright side, and uh, you know, just in, enjoy some some artisanal Overwatch gameplay. You know, exactly. Nothing like a little bit of Overwatch to calm myself down. Exactly. No one ever. But <laughs> I, yeah, no, that yeah. Sometimes it can be relaxing, but other times it's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean that's that's a lot of games, but I think Overwatch has a special quality to it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> um, I was playing with Humongous last night actually, and yeah, uh, oh my goodness, that man can get torrent over <laughs> some quick play <laughs> matches. <laughs> uh, I I respect it though. Even taking the the casual things a, a little seriously can be yeah, fun. Sometimes it can be. Uh huh. <laughs> but uh, while we're waiting to. Hop into the lobby or uh, into the game rather. Um, don't forget to follow us right here on Twitch as well as on Twitter and Instagram, so you can keep up with all of that UJ Esports action. You can subscribe right below if you so wish. Costs five bucks a month. That it renews automatically, so you have to worry about nothing, and it helps support the team. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Twitch accounts and get one free sub each month to any channel of your choosing. And we hope you choose us, but that doesn't renew automatically like the paid subscription does. So you have to keep hitting that. Uh, that little friendly purple button right below uh, to to keep supporting us. Otherwise, you can donate, help support the team similar to subscribing, or you can donate to Extra Life in the button right next to it. It's a fun for sick kids. So it's obviously very, very worthy there as well. And that might be a new record for how fast I said it. <laughs> uh, but I was going to say, I was starting to stress because I was like, do I have to say all these words? <laughs> no, no. I... I, I built the spiel myself and I think I've gotten real good at it. Oh uh, that's impressive that you just like memorize all that. I like, mean I've, I've been, been saying for it for like what this is my fifth year saying it. So like you know, it, it's I, I'm sure I could say it in my sleep. I I just <laughs> sit up at four AM, look over and <laughs> hit him with the flawless spiel. <laughs> Taking high ground here. I'd like to see that. Yep. Uh, Drexel opting for the low ground. They are obviously contesting point before it unlocks, but we'll have to see if either team can uh, find any windows of opportunity to really grab hold of first control of the point. It looks like Humongous is going to be dropping to contest. Some of you just still holding the high ground, making sure they can't get poked out. I would like to see Zach take the high ground on point here, um, just to provide another angle of poke, really. Yeah, for um, sure. That'll be. But both teams really, well, poking, but looks like Ghosty gets poked out. Yeah, one pick. And UJ now a little bit favored. I think UJ has to pick stuff up a little bit, though, if they want to actually claim control while that pick matters. There's taking Zach the taking point. the real high ground. Needs to find the shots. Can't quite find them right now. Jay Drizzy is going to fall. But so is Sea Dog. Physics is going to find Carter, though. Still pretty even. Zach going to find a second. Humongous is going to fall. It's just an absolute slugfest. And it looks like Drexel is going to maintain control of the point. Not quite the the pace that I think UJ was looking for there in the first fight. I think they need to pick stuff up a little bit if they want to really, uh, well, like I've been saying, grab a hold of control of the point. Um, that Reaper is kind of a thorn in UJ's side, though. Not really able to poke as much as he's doing right now, but he does have that threat of just dropping in whenever he wants, really, and getting some free damage. Humongous just doing things, doing things and stuff, taking space. There's that uh, that Death Blossom. Isn't going to find anyone. Sea Dog does find Drizzy, but Zach finds Sea Dog. They up by one. J 
UJ up by two. Looks like UJ taking the point here. Oh, Kriko doing Kriko things. Soon enough, should happen. Oh, can you get him? Oh, oh! Nice. Zach finds the shot. Jeez. Nice follow up. The Drexel all the way to 66% already. UJ got a lot of work cut out for him, but it's definitely not undoable. Felix comes through, doesn't look like it finds anyone. Both teams are pretty even with their ultimate charge too right now, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and whenever we have neutral spec like this, it makes me so much happier than having sided spec, because like it's it's just so much easier to understand, easier to cast to oh, yeah. if you have a neutral spec and two ults coming out, two kills coming through, Carter finding a third, and UJ's gonna maintain control of the point. Reaper uh, defense. Okay, up to 40%. Getting close to Drexel's percentage here. This always gets me nervous because it's like I always get scared like at this point in the game because it's like, okay, how far ahead do we want to push with this? You know? Because mm -hmm. if you push too far ahead, then that's when you get killed. But if you yep. stay too far back, it's like, okay, we're just giving them space. Yep. You know? And I, I think just playing that corner is typically what you want to be doing. Looks like they, they opted to speed onto the elevator, though, uh, which I I like it. I like that kind of play. Um, and the the Rhine is going to be by himself, is going to hit the Shatter on Humongous, but uh, a lot of ult being ripped from both teams, and Zack is going to be the first one to find a kill. Wow. Good ult by Humongous, taking out Sea Dog. Found one, huh? Typically, a Rissa ult doesn't really find kills. <laughs> it kind of just like is zoning more or less. It, it in a in a similar sense to like a McCree ult, where typically it isn't finding kills. You know, hundred percent. Yeah. Just meant to pull them all together, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. It's it's meant to like hold space because you know you walk into that zone of death. Well, it's a zone of death. So, uh, you know, you, you rip it on a corner or something, and you just have control of that corner for the duration of the ult. But it looks like UJ is going to mount a little bit of a comeback and claim first point here. Step right up. It's a bit of a rough start. UJ starting a little bit slower than I think they would have liked to have seen. Definitely slower than we would have liked to have seen. But they, they rallied together, picked stuff up, and they, they seem to just find uh, a lot of early picks in subsequent fights yeah. that really enabled UJ to snowball that kind of stuff. UJ is always good at getting the first pick at some of these stuff, like especially with the, well, their Reaper, like, and how he was just like uh, flanking mm -hmm. a little too hard sometimes. But uh, you, like you said, they were a little slow, it felt like. Mm -hmm. I, I think they pick stuff up, um, but once you have control of the point, you don't necessarily have to play as fast. Yeah. And so I think that did help a good bit here. We'll have to see if Drexel can claim first control of the point again or if UJ has uh, regrouped enough to do it themselves. Physics on the potential flank. Sea Dog gets absolutely blown up, though. Wow. Carter is going to get shut down by Shadow Dragon, but Shadow Dragon is going to take a few shots to the dome himself. Humongous just taking space, taking names, chewing gum. Sea <laughs> Dog is back in the fight now. Humongous is just nasty with these javelin shots today. Mm -hmm. but UJ is finally going to claim first control of the point. The fight is still going on, though. It really hasn't stopped, even though Sea Dog did die pretty early. Physics is going to fall to Kayla Roney, the schnasty little kunai. Three times multiplier headshot. What a <laughs> what a fun character. Right. Sea Dog is gonna fall. And UJ should be able to clean up the rest of this. Nice little javelin into the shot from Carter is gonna claim Shadow Dragon again. And it's Magikarp in the back line, not quite finding the value they wanted. UJ now a third of the way to one hundred percent. Roughly. There's no point three, but like if there was. Great ult charge with UJ too. Almost everybody's got their ult. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sea Dog 
getting javelined yet again. Like you were saying, Humongous absolutely nailing the spears. Oh, as I say it, I, I think I jinxed it. I think I did the thing. I I think he's going to be waiting at this point for Sea Dog. Yep, to jump in, try and hit him with the javelin. Unfortunately, the bubble is going to block it. But uh, you can potentially just shut down a dive from Winston with a single javelin just by switching his momentum. Yeah. Drizzy is going to fall to Shadow Dragon, so Drex is going to be up by one. Ghosty gets picked off, though, and it's pretty even. Humongous falls back to Sea Dog, however. UJ down a tank, trying to find some picks, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to find any. Not that it matters a whole lot. The fight was pretty lost in the first place, and they were just stalling. But now they can just, like, ult dump minus Kelleroni, but... Mm -hmm. Or they probably shouldn't ult dump, but, you know, like they have yeah, ults Yeah, you commit a few ults, take some space, grab hold of the point. Sounds so simple on paper. Yes, I didn't see that their team has a lot also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not quite finding the jab there. Zach is going to be popping his ult, though. Finds physics. Doing a lot of damage. Only finds the one kill, but that might be enough for UJ. Humongous not finding anything with his ult. Primal coming out from Sea Dog. Sea Dog is finally gonna fall. Javelin spin is gonna take some more space for UJ. Zach and Carter find a pick a piece. That's gonna be a team kill for UJ. 25% left. Drexel is going to have to mount a uh, pretty considerable comeback, especially considering they, uh, well, they don't have any ults right now. They don't really have <laughs> anything to commit. Right. And, uh, yeah. I mean, granted, UJ doesn't have a lot, but they're coming up on Kitsune Rush, and they already have beat from Jay Drizzy. So I would wager that unless Drexel is able to find a pick real early, it's just going to be a pretty easy 2-0 on the map for UJ. Yep, there is the Kitsune Rush. There's the beat. No picks yet. A lot of damage being done. Yeah, there we go. Yep, can find Sea Dog. Kaleroni was picked in the meantime, though. And Drexel does have control of the point right now. I'd like everyone to keep in mind. <laughs> Ooh, can't find the Javelin. Can eventually find the shot, but he's got two more people to deal with. And at that point, oh, he's kind of no. just going to reset. Now Drexel up to 80%. Not quite going the way that UJ would have liked to have seen it. So now UJ has their last ditch efforts to win the fight, claim the point. Getting some free poke damage in. See Dog going in, not being punished. Jay Drizzy's going to fall to Shadow Dragon. Honestly, I think I would have liked to have seen Humongous just rip his... Yep. Not quite the ult that he would have liked. I don't think it... I don't think it connected at all, even though Aww. it uh, appeared to on our end. And Drexel is going to claim second here. I know. I thought UJ had that point yep. for sure. But yep. then UJ just their Sojourn just like one tab, Nate. Yeah. Uh, Humongous. Yeah, UJ just so when UJ still had control of the point and they ripped Kitsune Rush and beat, it, it felt like they just weren't able to find the shots to to find the Elims, really. Because I, I don't know exactly what else it could have been. I Maybe there just wasn't enough target focus, but even then, I, I think it was just a, some missed shot syndrome that, that led to... Drexel claiming second. Yeah. Jay speeding the point. Drexel doing the exact same thing. Still on the monkey. Humongous still on the Orisa. Z Dog taking a lot of damage. Ooh, oh, but Carter nuts. is gonna fall to Shadow Dragon though. Humongous is going to find physics. UJ has to drop. Still 
still an Elum apiece for each team. Humongous getting in there. Kayla Roney finds the finish on Shadow Dragon. Sea Dog also falls. And that should be first control of the point for UJ. Uh, so it, it was a little scuffed oh, at the start, I would say. Uh, UJ just not quite able to find the finishing shots on uh, some members from Drexel when they were still on the high ground because a few of them were really low. Yeah, I saw like five, um, like three people at 20 HP. Yeah. It's like, what in the world? Yeah, and just no one was dying. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a little scuffed, but UJ got there eventually. Now Drexel finally swapping to the Orisa. Kitsune Rush coming out, though, and this should be a pretty easy one fight unless UJ is going to be forced out of it entirely, which does look like it's going to be the case. Kaleroni is going to fall, too. Oh, no. And it's just humongous left Good. on point. Ult restraint there. Mm -hmm. Yep. He he realized that it, that it was already a lost fight and elected, you know, maybe even if I kill three, I'm still probably not winning the fight. So just going to hold control of the point as long as he could. Reset to his team. UJ mounting the retake real soon. It's unfortunate that the Kitsune rush was ripped there, and then UJ just got forced off of it. A really big ult. Lots of damage. No kills, though. The Reaper just popping shots, dumping damage. I'd like to see him drop soon uh if the other reaper is picked um oh, did not have wraith but the uh the physics um he is gonna rip blossom which feels like a little bit of an ult over commit there or drexel drexel does still maintain control of the point but now uj has um dead eye and death blossom i was gonna say, in. that was really good ult restraint on zach's part mm -hmm. with yeah, because he, he got his ult, and like everyone was all together, but he lost a teammate, and then he was like, yep. nope. Yeah. Because, like, on, on, like, at face value, it looks really good. But, you know, when Orisa's got gold, when there's just a Reaper there that can hypothetically stand in your Death Blossom and shoot at your head and come out ahead on that, just, like, in the 1v1. Uh, ooh, that, that did not go UJ's way. Another team kill. Ouch. So UJ... Now down at 40%, Drexel up to 85. And they're going to have to mount a bit of a comeback now. Not really the way I would have predicted this map going, especially after first point, but we'll have to see if UJ can make some miracles happen. Tracer is interesting. Uh, more to get back to point fast. I think he swapped a little bit earlier than he needed to. Probably could have stayed on that Reaper. Humongous is going to rip the ult, do a lot of damage, not quite find any kill confirms because of it, but it's going to win the fight nonetheless. Or not the Reaper, on the on the Kree. Excuse me, he was not Reaper. Zach has definitely always been Reaper. He's already Reaper. Drexel taking high ground. Physics gets blown up in the meantime, though. Well, that Orisa gold just takes makes her like twice as strong. That's uh, impressive. Uh, fun fact: it does half her damage. Half? Yeah. Wow. She, she takes half damage. Uh, it used to be that she couldn't get headshot. I'm pretty sure they changed that back, um, so she can still get headshot while she's in gold. Okay. Yeah. It. It. Definitely reduces damage by a lot, fifty percent to be exact. I'm gonna say that's it. It's pretty wild. <laughs> it, it's really strong. Granted, if she didn't have gold though, she would just be a, a walking ult battery. Yeah, that's true. Both teams at ninety nine percent. Zach coming up on ult. Kayla Roney coming up on ult. Jay Drizzy with hers. Magikarp is gonna rip. There's Shadow Dragon ripping it. Sea Dog ripping it. Zach ripping it. Everyone ripping their ults. Whoa. And still pretty even. Carter is going to fall. Uh, Zach is going to find the pick on the Sea Dog, though. 
Physics is going to fall. Magikarp's going to fall. And UJ takes it. Wow. Oof. That was a wave of emotions there. Yeah, Jeez. for for map one, that was a bit of a nail biter. <laughs> right. I don't know, I'm excited to see this uh, push map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't know how to feel about the in entirety of the map. I as much as I hate to say it, it felt a little sloppy from UJ. A little bit. Like yeah. it 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 felt like maybe the communication wasn't there. Maybe uh like the the target focusing i like i i'm not sure exactly what went wrong maybe it was just missed shots like i was saying yeah. after uh after university there but yeah it's their first week after spring break too mm -hmm. so everyone's going to be a little bit rusty yeah. that, that's to be expected but we're going to be going in the map too soon we'll have to see just what drexel is going to be whipping out uh and we'll see if going to push is going to favor UJ and E cuz it felt like it felt like control just wasn't exactly what they wanted to be doing yeah you know yeah um, UJ was good with like the pushing if they could keep the momentum you yeah know? exactly and this yeah the momentum is really essential with these push maps yep because yeah if you can just keep doing the momentum they respawn just moment you know just crush them again yeah, just keep you doing just that run right through them I mean, obviously, there's going to be uh, some defender advantages at, at certain points, like spawns shift yeah. and all that. Uh, so it, it's not 100%, you know, you gain control of the point first, you steamroll. But, yeah, I, I agree that the momentum definitely does help a lot on those push maps. Huh. So still waiting on map two. Okay. Yeah, I I would like to see UJ clean stuff up a little bit on map two. It 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 just felt a little discombobulated for whatever reason. Yeah. Um. I if it weren't against the rules, I I would go ask, but <laughs> I can't talk to the players during a match, uh, and so for now it's just going to be speculation. Physics saying that they're going to King's Row next though. Oh. And. I, King's Row seems to be hit or miss for UJ. Yeah, I think I would agree. I think with, I have a feeling that we're gonna crush it this time. But yeah, usually it's just hit or miss, mm -hmm. you know. Yep, I I would agree. And King's Row has been a fan favorite basically since the the beta for Overwatch one. Really, oh, yeah. Um, 100%. They, like, it's it's got like nice choke points. It's got high ground. It's got flanks. It's just got everything <laughs> that you could really want in a, a solid hybrid map. You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll have to see how UJ decides to attack it this time, or or defend it, I guess, depending on which side they start. Um, but I I know that Humongous tends to favor the Arisa even on King's Row, where uh, where tanks like Reinhardt are definitely a little bit more favored, like Reinhardt, like Sigma. Um, not to say Arisa's bad on King's Row; she's definitely not. She's probably like top three, top four tanks on mm -hmm. King's Row. Um, but you know, the, just the quintessential Reinhardt mirror on on King's Row is always really fun to watch because, like, j just the the tank diff that can <laughs> happen. You know, like like yep. you you see a Reinhardt go in and like pin the other Reinhardt and like reverse shatter the other team, <laughs> just like be a Giga Chad. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's it's so much more fun to watch than like two Arisas poking at each other. But you know, it, you're you're gonna do whatever it takes to win the map at the end of the day, regardless of how fun it is. Exactly. And the cool thing about this map is there's just like a billion and a half strategies that you could do. Yep. Because I remember playing for UJ Esports last year. Mm -hmm. They, we were on defense, and the other team I can't remember what school it was, but they were attacking, and they pulled out this new strat that I've never seen before. Was it they... TPing Bastion on top of the statue? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. That what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So back in Overwatch 1, you know, when Bastion was stationary, uh, you, you could pair some Metra and Bastion and basically plant the Bastion on top of the statue right next to first point. Um, and he would just have like a shooting gallery, especially if you threw like a Sigma shield up there uh, to, to help support him. So you would run like, 
like Sig Zarya, um, and then Bastion Symmetra, and like Mercy, what, Moira oh. probably because it's Brawly, um, yeah, but or maybe just uh, Lucio too, but yeah, it, it was it was a it was a really cool strat. I do <laughs> yeah. agree. I I didn't see it too often, but when I did see it, I was really happy that a team brought it out because it's just like cool. It's unexpected, you know. It, yeah. It's unconventional. Um, unfortunately, can't really do that as much anymore. I guess you <laughs> you can still like TP yourself on top of the statue, um, and then turn into turret bastion. But like you can't stay turret bastion. Yeah. So, not quite that that shooting gallery kind of. Uh, strat that you would have had before, and uh, to to pair it with only having one tank instead of two, there there wasn't as much uh, support for for the Bastion. Like you, you could still do it, yeah. and I mean, I guess hypothetically, like if they're not expecting you to do it, you could transform, TP up, and like get a pick before they really know what you've done. Yeah. Um, but you can't really sit up there the way that you used to be able to. So it looks like Humongous is opting to stay. Oh, 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 let's go! Reinhardt, yes. Big Chad Reinhardt. He's a Chad. He's an alpha. There we go. And so Zach opting for the May Carter on the Cassidy. Uh, and then Kayla Roney on the BAP. Jay Drizzy on her patented Lucio. Pretty. They seem to be hiding right here just to make sure they don't get seen at all. Mm -hmm. Smart idea. Yeah, I, I think it's a relatively standard uh, team comp. I, I do think that uh, typically we'd see like a Sojourn instead of the Cassidy, but uh, like be beyond that, it's it's not too far-fetched, you know? Yeah. It's not super unusual. And then Mei is pretty common on King's Row because she can isolate uh, well, specifically the tank off so oh. easily. Almost finding it there. I was um, gonna say, is she super popular on this? Because yeah, I guess yep. she yeah. can isolate well, kind of like that. Where it just gets brawled on. And the window, or the, the lamp rather, is going to save Humongous. Going to hit the dink onto Sea Dog, but still a real even fight here. No one picked. At this point, I think it's kind of just a game of walls. And, well, I, I think the wall finds Sea Dog. Not, not gonna fall. Sea Dog's not gonna die. Wow, there's a lot of sustained physics. Ooh. Is finally gonna fall. Sea Dog, go. gonna match it, and UJ can finally ward off the uh, the first attack from Drexel. That was a long fight. That was. That was a really long fight. That lasted for over a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's a long fight. Uh huh. Jeez. Whoa. Nice little sleep dart coming out. Not gonna. Do uh, a whole lot. Put the wall oh. coming out. The shatter coming out too, though. And that's going to be a big, big ult combo for Drexel. And that's going to claim him first point. Does he get out? I think he gets out. He definitely Good gets out. Him. So Drexel claiming control of first. Looks like now we all get good spawn, so that's awesome. Mm hmm. Four and a half left on the clock for Drexel. Plenty of time uh, to find a wall or not find a wall. Good for you, Jay. The fan coming out, doing a lot of damage to Sea Dog there. The second <laughs> fan just gunning him down. Humongous finding physics. Zach finding Ghosty. And Drexel is just dropping. I think Carter found his new main. I, yeah, he's been playing a bit of a bit of Cassidy lately, oh, and I think it's been working out. Sorry, I, I didn't know he swapped. I thought thought Carter was May. Mm, no, nope, nope. <laughs> Typically, Zach is the uh, the more flex-ish DPS. Carter is typically the uh, the hit scan. Just a zoning dead eye coming out, not doing a whole uh -oh. lot, but. I mean, it typically doesn't oh. do a whole lot. It basically did its job. Yeah. Kept him scared. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, I did cancel did, on that ult. Yeah. That's huge. That that's is. so, so big. Canceling the blizzard from physics like that. 
That's a really specific timing, too. Yeah. Usually getting shattered again, though. Ouch. And everyone just falling. Humongous, as much as I hate to say it, kind of getting diffed right now in terms of shatters. I don't know, he must be holding back tears. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, the two shatters onto UJ, just straight in their mouth shatters. Right. It doesn't feel the greatest. Fire Strikes is doing some poke damage. Humongous coming up to his shatter. Probably going to elect not to use it with basically every member of Drexel falling. Shadow Dragon is going to find one and find the lamp. Finds another shot, though. And he's going to get out. Wow. Honestly, pretty well played from Shadow Dragon. Good, good positioning there. Understanding exactly what he needed to be doing and when he needed to do it. So props to him. Now, Humongous is just going to be looking for the ult. Sea Dog is probably aware of this. Now, Humongous just needs to go in, be an absolute Giga Chad. Whatever he does, don't shatter his shield, please. And if that shield goes down, it's a free Q for Humongous. Humongous almost fallen, is going to fall. Good ult from. Back here. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna earn us anything? It is. Awesome. The monkey still has his ult too. Yeah, that was that was an absolute banger of a blizzard from Zach, however, and that a hundred percent saved UJ the fight. Yeah. So now if UJ can poke down Sea Dog's shield, I uh, I think it's just gonna be a real quick Q button coming out from Humongous, putting five on their backs because he's a big brawlic man with testosterone <laughs> and things. Ooh, he's going to oh, get no. walled off. The wall gets blown up really quickly. And another wall is going to save him. Love to see it. Oh, well, a little, little bit rough positioning coming out. Good block saving himself, but not going to save anyone else. And that's probably going to be another lost fight for UJ. Unless Kayla Roney's got anything to say about it. Oh, she finds one. Oh, can't find two, though. 45 seconds. That was a decent stall, block. though. That was yes. Yep. Yeah. I, I do think that was a very solid stall there on second for UJ. Two minutes left on the clock on arguably the hardest section to push on King's Row. So we'll see if UJ <laughs> yeah. is uh, is able to mount the hold before Drexel can cap third. Oh! oh! I was so scared there. Oh, my goodness. And so I Dang. I think I think C Dog's shield was broken as the shatter hit. I don't think he let go of it. I think UJ blew up C Dog's shield oh, right like just as a nick of time. Yep. But it doesn't look like the shatter is gonna do all that much and Drexel's able to snowball pretty hard here. But UJ does have Blizzard, they have Window, they have Deadeye coming up on beat. Lots of tools at their disposal to help stall as best they can. Minute 10 left on the clock. We'll see what UJ opts to rip. Window going to be popped first. Relatively large ante on the two members of UJ, but no follow-up from Drexel. The Deadeye getting popped. Not finding anything, but it doesn't normally, and that's a massive blizzard. Carter finding a second, Carter finding a third, Carter finding a fourth. Wow. Got a lot done there. That was awesome. Well, what did we use? Did we use, because we used the snowstorm, and we used Deadeye, and... Uh, oh, and Window. Used, okay, and Window. Talking too much. But Humongous has his shatter. Hopefully he can make one big one connect. Jay Drizzy's also got beat for another stall. He can put him on their backs. He can win the, the round. He puts one on his back, gets blown up. C 
Sea Dog on point, taking space, taking damage, dying in the process. Magikarp, last ditch efforts, not going to survive too long. Whew. And it looks like UJ is going to hold about halfway through third. It's doable. Mm -hmm. it's not doable. too bad, not too bad. You are right, though. That is literally the hardest part yeah. to defend, though. Is that a bot? <laughs> yeah, gonna gonna ban that one. So based I love to All right. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go get a drink of water real quick. You can spec, you have fun. Sounds good. So ladies and gentlemen, the spot that me and Clicky were talking about here. Oh shoot, you guys can't go up there. They were able to te teleport from their spawn to right here. And from here, they get like a perfect view of the entire point. And this is when Bastion was originally worked with his uh, turret mode. And so he just like laser everything on point. It was nasty. Junkrat pick with Carter. It's a good strat. All right, I, I'm going to let you play by play just so I stop coughing as much. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh, two Reinhardts again. I'd like to see that. Jay, pretty aggressively taking space here. Humongous yeah. way up there. It is an aggressive build. I'll give it that, though with the whole Reinhardt and Lucio. Mm -hmm. That's like meant to rush in there and kill him. Yep, the the two crucial components of that death ball comp. Still no one on either team falling. Oh! The counter pin from Sea Dog working wonders. Physics is gonna fall though. Big purple on a humongous. Whoa! Uh, so, what just? I'm not sure if it pinned him into the wall or if the pin just connected and then the wall like disconnected it. Not not a hundred percent. Regardless, I do yeah. know that UJ won the fight. Yeah. And they did that fairly quickly too. Yeah. Like Thirty seconds or was that a minute? Uh, like a minute ish. Okay. But yeah, UJ over five minutes left on the clock. More than enough wiggle room to take it to the end of second here. Mungus with his old Carter, with his Zack, with his Kaleroni, with hers, and only Nano on the end of Drexel. Granted, Ghosty's coming up on his window. Shadow Dragon is going to be coming up on his mortar as well. Ooh. Oh, nice. Unfortunate miscommunication. Nano Ryan just swinging on Humongous. Isn't going to find anything. Zach is going to fall because he was uh, kind of awkwardly far in. Big boy shatter. I love to see it. Uh-oh. Purple on the Mungus. Yep. It, it does seem like Magikarp has been having really, really good anti-nades. Oh, yeah. um, Like, they're always either on a Humongous or on to, like, two or more members of UJ. Like, it, Magikarp is hitting the antis right now, and it's causing a lot of problems for UJ. Blizzard coming out, uh -oh. connecting onto uh, both Blizzards. Both Blizzards came out. Physics is going to fall. Humongous is going to fall. And, uh, well, everyone is going to fall onto their backs, at least on the side of UJ. And it looks like everyone's going to get sent back to the spawn room soon after. Bidrizzy did make it out, though. We take it. We take this. Unfortunately, UJ has made uh, approximately zero progress after using five volts. <laughs> Uh, that's not what he's I mean, granted, uh, Drexel did combo uh, the the Mortar and Blizzard when uh, when UJ tried to commit their own Blizzard. So, yeah, that ult exchange is kind of unfortunate. But the Nanod Ryan just continually going in, making money, taking names, is, is hurting UJ. I'll, I'll tell you that much. 
say, when has this Ana not had her nano? <laughs> Never. Perma nano. While trying to take some space doesn't really take a whole lot, but maybe it's the reason that the rest of UJ managed to get out. So I'll, I'll give Zach some credit there. Mm -hmm. Windows coming out, insta wall in front of it, but that wall is almost gonna insta fall. <laughs> UJ yeah, getting their time cut in half now. Good. No, it's you just kind of not having uh, the, the greatest time right now. Straight up, not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. They just need to group up and get it all together, and mm -hmm. they should be able to. Do it. Just a little hard. Rag coming through, not okay. connecting the way EJ wanted it to. Sea Dog finally falling. Zach finding the kill on oh, his counterpart. Justice. EJ finally finding enough momentum to hopefully take it to the end of second. Granted, still two minutes left on the clock. It's not like it was particularly close. Um, and if EJ is able to find another pick here, or or maybe oh. two, maybe under the bash. Nah. But say, that that seems like an injustice that that Bastion got away. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> e even the pick just on a magic up there is going to be stalling Drexel a lot. Like that's going to be that, that's going to mean a lot of progress for UJ here, and they might even not be able to to mount a full fight here at the end of second. No, it does look like Magic Harp is going to make it back. The Blizzard's going to get ripped. Wall is going to hold them in. Uh, everything is really awkward. No one's going to die. Uh, everyone for UJ is going to die. It's a, it's a big beat. And it looks like it kept basically everyone up. It was a solid wow. beat from Jay Drizzy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. They got it, they got it, they got it. Come on, come on. God, uh, nuts. Sea Dog just not falling. No one falling, except, well, wow. UJ to their backs again. Big lamp from Kayla Roney, though. Big wall from Zach. UJ see, Zach's been might... pretty sick with his walls today. Yep. UJ is looking to finally flame <gasps> second. He also finally killed that Bastion. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> He's been he's been doing damage. He has. Oh, I can't hit tab to look at the scoreboard. That's sad. I, I was curious how much damage he'd done. Because it's probably a lot. Right. It's probably a lot of damage. I don't know. I think I'll I'd be willing to put like ten bucks down that's over fifty K. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I would agree. To be fair, Sea Dog has also been just domping damage out. Just, just being permanent a uh, bit of a rough shatter there for uh, for Humongous. And he's going to fall, but not before taking Sea Dog. Zach is going to find two because of his Blizzard. Oh, Ooh, just barely whiffs the wall. Uh, I, I know they slightly reworked the the way that wall works. Uh, so it's not, like, technically solidified until it's all the way up. Um, so you can sort of walk through it while it's going up in a strange way. Solid beat from Jay Drizzy there, keeping UJ up. And UJ has... Very little to push yet. After what seemed to be a real sketchy uh, second point for UJ, it looks like they are finally going to cap awesome. all the way they needed to third Man. and claim map two. Vein in my forehead is finally like dissipating. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, was, that was a rough map. I know, I was so scared around that, that first... Uh, Choke point, like, you know, like when, uh, yeah, this point right here, I was just like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. UJ just like makes a little bit of ground. Yeah. I I do think the MVP for the map, uh, even though Drexel lost, has to go to Sea Dog. He mm -hmm. was, he was taking space, taking names. He was. He was. That was he, impressive. His Reinhardt game. Work. Swang in that hammer while Nano <laughs> doing unholy amounts of damage. But we'll see just what map three is gonna be. That, yeah, I, Shadow Dragon. That's not, 
one, that's the wrong chat, and <laughs> two, and two, there's no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what did he say? Spam this sheep for the reverse sweep. There's, there's no sheep. There's no sheep emoji there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh. So what are the push maps? Because I know that there's the. Um, the sniper one. Uh, I honestly I don't know any of the the names. I I'm a I'm a keep it a hundred. I I know like none of the names, but there's like the night one where the yeah where you run double sniper, that that feels like it's Paris ish, but I know there's another map named Paris, so I don't think it's Paris. Uh, there's um, uh, Colosseo, the Rome one. That one is fun. Um, yeah, I agree. Oh I think goodness. that one's really fun. Uh, what else is there? Because yeah, those are the only two I think I know. There. Other than um the newer one. The, oh my gosh, what is that? The like w- looks like almost like a London ish setting, doesn't it? Or like a. I yep. I think it's just London. Oh. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's just London. Yep. Um. Oh, what's. I can't think of the name of that one. There, There's like four or five. Okay. But we'll have to see just which one. I, I believe it's Drexel's pick. Um, We'll see which one they're going to take out. But I I don't know. The, the, the UJ boys and girls, they're doing a heck of a job scaring us. So I'll give yeah, them that. Yeah, right. Keeping I'll us give on them our that. toes at yeah. our seats. Yep. Yeah, it's... It's been stressful. I, we're not even playing, and it's been stressful. Oh, they've been teasing us. Yep, <laughs> that they have. But like, score is uh two and nothing right now. Yeah, I mean we'll take it. I just wish it were a, a little bit less precarious in the way that they're doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, granted, third was pretty. Third was pretty. Uh, oh my gosh, straightforward. Purple pansy at level four. That's. I don't know. Just, Whoa. He's playing a lot of. Quick play and stuff, say, maybe. Must be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like, I get into quick play, I'm just like, what the heck? What the heck, boys? You know, like, yeah, like, yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. Uh-huh. Uh, no no adjustments for casting whatsoever. <laughs> Junkertown. Okay. Interesting. Swap. Ben swap in for Sea Dog. Uh, good old Ben. Oh. Retiring their Sea Dog. Love me some Ben. Why are they swapping out Sea Dog? Sea Dog, he's been like. Performing pretty well, <laughs> right? So that's that's an interesting swap. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe. Well, judging by Ben's uh, icon, maybe he plays a lot of Doomfist, and maybe Sea Dog <laughs> doesn't play Doomfist. Mm-hmm. So that could very well be the reason for the switch. Um, and UJ, I would imagine, just staying with the same five members that they typically roll with. That would be so fun to see if they actually played Doomfist. It, like, it strategically doesn't make any sense. But. Well, like, so Doom takes a lot of, like, presence of mind to play well. Yeah. But if you're good at Doomfist, I think he can be super annoying. I oh, think yeah. he can be, like, a, a pretty solid tank. Now, queuing into specifically Arissa is a little bit worse, you know, because she's got gold, so she can't really get punched back. Yeah. But... Um, granted, you can still play around that as Doomfist. You wait for the cooldown. Um, and, like, he, he could just be playing Skirmish even. He could be hitting some Doom rollouts that I've never seen before. Yeah. So, well, or maybe he's not even playing Doom. <laughs> maybe he's not even playing Doom. Maybe he's playing, like, Sigma, and Sea Dog doesn't play Sigma. Yeah. Who knows? It's a mental trick. Yeah. Pulling us. Yeah. Yeah, just mental games with specifically UJ's casters. We'll have to see just what each team is going to bring out. Uh, I would like to see Humongous bring out the Sigma instead of Me the too, Orisa. Um, but it depends what UJ wants to play, how they want to play it. Actually, I'd love, I'd love to see Humongous pull out the Wrecking Ball. That's why I want to see <laughs> No. Yeah. No, we don't. No, we <laughs> don't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Humongous. <laughs> Ben playing Winston, huh? But Sea Dog was playing Winston. Okay. Huh. I just 
interesting. Winston just doesn't really seem like a great. Uh, it's really map dependent. He's he's pretty fine on Junkertown specifically because of the verticality of it. Yeah. Um, and so like on a first, it's pretty skirmishy, and e even though there's a lot of open spaces, there's still a lot of like tight little corridors that Winston can play in, uh, and like he can jump over the outside wall. You know, he can take a lot of space that uh, basically no other take, uh, tank other than Ball would be able to. So we'll see just how uh, Ben is going to opt to play it. Physics is going to get tagged. Ooh, Whoa. what a shot onto Shadow Dragon right. there from Zach. Not quite the head, but is going to push Shadow Dragon back a little bit. Yet another good purple there. But uh -oh. Ben is going to get blown up. Doesn't quite find the head. But finds the body, makes Shadow Dragon back. That's all Zach can really ask for. Find the head. I just want him to hit, like, one random log. Just, like, fulfill my, my need for <laughs> my a random jank. Right? You know? Oh, come on. Oh. Waiting a little bit too long for that arrow. Harder is going to get dipped by Shadow Dragon. Massive perp nade from Magikarp. Um... Oh, Magikarp's having no, issues, I... I guess. Both teams are confused how the pause happened. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> oh, up to 15 minutes. Man, I love yes. timeouts. They're my favorite mm. thing. Oh, Magikarp's back. I mean, on, on the left. He's not gonna show. Up. Oh, oh, yeah, not not gonna show up up top until. No, so random. Is it auto pause when someone DCs now? That'd be, That'd be a nice feature. Cause yeah, he was still like technically in the game, but he might have just been. Like, yeah, but I mean, you don't like DC from the game of uh, initially unless you hit the leave game button. Mm -hmm. it does suck that Magikarp lost all the ult charge though. That's that's probably gonna hurt Drexel a little bit. Oh yeah. But I mean, computer problems happen. What are you gonna do? Ben is oh. gonna go in. Ben is gonna take a lot of damage. He isn't gonna fall. The two other members, three other members, uh, Ben's gonna fall eventually. Only one member left of Drexel. And, uh, well, oh, Magikarp's gonna fall too. A good recovery there for UJ. Um, granted, probably in part because of Magikarp's DC. Again, it it sucks. Like it's never fun for either team, but computer issues are they have. Yeah, they're they're imminent. I want to see Carter hit something flashy. Come on, come on. Hit hit a grapple shot for me. Oh please, please do it to her. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, oh, no oh, way. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Missing the shot while having walls, that's that's, that's probably going to hurt the ego a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he's molding right now. Three members, uh, three members left, excuse me, of UJ. Surviving as best they can, but their best doesn't appear to be good enough. And I mean, Ben is going to uh -oh. pop the primal as well. Strange jetpack usage during that primal. Ooh, Jay Drizzy with the headshot on the physics, though. Going to save uh, Carter, I believe it was. So cool. Cause it seems like Zach just like knows all the angles. Find oh. the shots. Oh. 
while EJ doing their best to burn down Ben. They are going to find the kill eventually. I don't feel like we've watched Humongous enough this map. We, we should watch him some more. He's brawlic and thing. He does have flux, so this could be interesting. So, he's got a few options with flux, right? He can flux the Winston and try and end the fight as quickly as possible. Um, or he can go for the Widow that's way back there. Try and just get a free pick, say that's good enough. Yeah. I don't think Drexel is really going to be... Uh, group too much. He is gonna hit a two-man. He's gonna find one kill on the ghost. He physics is gonna fall in the meantime. Carter's gonna pick his counterpart. Uh, ben is gonna fall to Humongous's big rock. Another one fight for EJ. Carter Careful almost, Carter. oh my god, almost dying, living at like five health. Ouch. But five health isn't zero. No one can hide from Pop an infrasight. Oh. Rock not quite finding its mark, but Ben is going to fall. Kind of just going in by himself. I'm not 100% sure what that was about. Yeah, that's... Um, I don't know, Winston? Like, I think Winston is fine, as long as you've got follow-up. Yeah, but if it, you have a dive comp, yeah. Yeah, it, it it seems like Drexel just isn't finding it, and Ben is gonna swap over to Diva now. Oh, that's her new icon. Oh, it's so much worse than before. I don't know if I, I'd seen the Overwatch 2 Diva icon. What? All right. Oh, it's so much worse than before. What was it? Oh, I gotta look at what. I mean, it's just like smug now. I mean, granted, I guess she's kind of smug, but hey, have you noticed that, like, with her voice lines too? Like, they seem like a lot more like cocky. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, just like taunts, really. Ooh, good shots on the Carter. Got that that simple geometry. Oh, finds one arrow to the shoulder of physics. Try and hit a drag soon, perhaps. Or maybe, just maybe, he's going to be saving it to get him off cart. Hits another shot onto physics. Gets tagged himself. Ooh. The okay. duel against the Moira is never a fun one, and Zack is going to nope. fall. Magikarp's going to fall. Ben is going to get demacked. He's going to lean up. Oh, Here no. we go. Oh, challenge. UJ, okay, okay, we, we got there. Oh, the the recontest from the tracer. Good dragon though, doing lots of damage. The ball is there. UJ just needs to focus the ball, please. Thank you. And about halfway through second, UJ is gonna stop Drexel's push. That's an easy spot to get to though. That's for UJ. I mean, like that's. Uh, Findareth, UJ is up currently two maps to nothing. And so, with that, uh, stall halfway through second for UJ, uh, we're kind of looking to make it a cute little 3-0. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, they're just, they're giving me heartburn tonight. I don't even get heartburn. I know, I should not have drinking this coffee, dude. I am on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Well, that's what you get for having coffee at 8.30 p.m. Yeah, I still got to pack and do homework. Yeah, and, I guess yeah. that's fair. I have to go do homework, too. Yeah. I mean, not like do tonight, but I'm doing a lot of stuff tomorrow, <laughs> so I probably should. Yeah. Oh, they already destroyed the motorcycle. Yeesh. Are they going to get into the gold vault? Oh, oh, oh shit Yeesh. it. Get it. Get it. Go in. Woo. Duh. Woo. Whoa. Sheesh. Oh. Hey. 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 Uh oh. <laughs> that was wild. The, I've never really seen his emails. The, the before. little right foot creep who <laughs> walking with that heater. Oh, oh man. Kayla Roney is popping with the emos right now.
Oh, 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 Carter with the oh, shot. Okay, oh, I, for a second I thought Zach just hit the nastiest arrow of his <laughs> life. But Carter finding the head of Shadow Dragon. That's a, that's a fair amount of resistance. Just shut down. The rock onto Ben. Not quite enough follow up, though. It's just a game of pokes. Neither team really seems to be winning this game of pokes. Rock not connecting. Fungus not getting rocked as well. That's in Yao's gotta be a quick pick, right? Oh! Then finally falling. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that physics was picked. It seems like everyone is just killing their counterpart right mm -hmm. now. That's funny. All right. Oh! No real fo oh. <laughs> Get it, Carter. Yeesh. Making up for that, that bit of a whiff last, uh, last round. Right. Love to see it, though. Whiff the easy ones, hit the hard ones. My motto. Score on Carter versus Shadow Dragon is now one to one. Uh, hope Seymour is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, always, there's, there's always the match, and then there's the sub match. match you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there's uh, there's the match, and then there's like the ego match. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like you, you can, ooh, Car Carter doing it again, but physics finding Zach. Like I said, <laughs> it just seems like like it's just a bunch of people picking their counterparts. Mm -hmm. Good burning of the Sigma shield there. I'd like to see that always. And that Discord still being on the Sigma uh, allows for UJ to take a lot of space, really. That Hanzo is very dangerous. Fungus getting rocked isn't going to fall, though. And right now, J Drizzy hopefully just using, uh, saving her ult for Lux uh, from Beninator. Ooh, Ooh, physics. Finding the head of Drizzy, though. Ambitious right click there. Carter finding Shadow Dragon again, though. I'm pretty sure he's like 5 and 0, 6 and 0. I know, he's really round. trying to make up for yeah, this. Yeah, no, he is, he is moving. Oh, not finding the rock. rock. Day Drizzy still has that, uh, well, had the, the transcendence. Get him. Just barely making it out. How is Humongous still alive? Wow. <laughs> it's the rock. It but he finally does fall. That's uh, that's a bit of a rough uh, end of the fight there for UJ. It looked like it was pretty handily in UJ's favor. And a, a bit of a mistimed transcendence too from J Drizzy. It didn't really seem like it was doing a whole lot. Like, if she would have ripped it at the start of Ben's flux, I, I would have been a little bit more inclined to agree with the usage of it. But it yeah. didn't really seem like it was doing much. I didn't even notice it till you said it. Both of UJ's DPSs are there trying to contest the Tracer. Neither can quite find the kill, but Tracer's hitbox is real small. Carter does find Shadow Dragon, though. Carter also finds Magikarp. UJ in a 5v3 right now. Wow, oh, Killer only really good with those mm. mortalities. Yep, real good lamps coming out from Killer only. Knows exactly when to use them. And that usage is going to claim UJ, like I said earlier, a cute little Rio. Beautiful. Oh, uh, for so, for it being a 3-0, it felt like, like it, 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 this series felt like it should have went to game five. Yeah, really. Like it was so much closer than 3-0 would say. And, I mean, oh. granted, I, I think UJ wasn't necessarily performing the way that they would have normally liked to. Yeah. But they came out ahead regardless. I, I don't think they played poorly by any means. Still, I would have loved to see them do a push map though. That would have been awesome to see. I think. Eh, 
especially if Humongous would have went like Reinhardt or something like that. That would, I think that would have been awesome. I don't know. I'm content with ending it in three. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I think that's all we've got for you guys tonight. So I'll double check the schedule real quick. I'm pretty sure tomorrow we have Valorant at six, but I'm not going to spew lies. I, I'm only a truther. Um, so I'm going to double check that quick. Yep, tomorrow, Valorant against Penn College at 6 p.m. Um, and then Thursday, we have another Overwatch game also against Penn College at 6 p.m. Uh, and we have Smash at 4 against LSU and Smash at 6 against USF. So Thursday is going to be real busy, but tomorrow, it's just Valorant at 6. Um, also, on Friday, we are starting UJ's... Uh, I don't know if it has an official name. I'm just going to call it the online tournament. Um, so we've got, what, how many schools? I'm going to check that because I don't know how many. Three, four, five, six, seven schools competing in that. Um, and so on Friday, we're going to be having Overwatch and Rocket League um, starting at three and six, respectively. And Saturday, we've got... League and Smash starting at noon, and Valorant starting at 4. So Friday, Saturday, there's going to be a lot going on. Uh, honestly, just for the rest of the week, there's going to be a lot of esports going on. So uh, we hope you guys stop in for all of that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all we've got for you guys tonight. Don't forget to follow us right here on Twitch as well as on Twitter and Instagram. To keep up with all of that cheeky UJ Esports action, you can subscribe if you so wish. Costs you five bucks a month. It auto re ups. You have to worry about nothing other than paying the five bucks, of course. And uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Twitch accounts and get one free sub each month to any of any channel of your choosing. Which we hope you choose us. Otherwise, you can donate. It helps support us in the same way that subscribing does. Um, but if you subscribe, we only get about half the money if you donate go straight to us, but you don't really get the benefit of like the little emblem next to your name though. So like there's no there's no uh recognition in it. It's it's uh, a, an honorless donation. Or no, that's not the word. Uh <laughs> what what's the word? There, there's no there, there's no no recognition in it, you know. So there's no swag. Um uh otherwise you can donate to Extra Life right next to that button. It's a fun for sick kids and obviously that's a very noble cause. So uh, any parting words, Mr. Musk? I don't have anything for them. I do not believe. I think, yeah, I think you mentioned all the stuff for UJ Esports this week. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Swag. Awesome. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed casting it. You guys have a good night. Good night.